We leave the house at 7 a.m. and we arrive in Busan port around 8 a.m. The schedule of the ferry to leave the port is 9 a.m. We arrived in Hitakach Port International Terminal around 10.30 a.m. We had our lunch in our favorite ramen and tonkatch house just across the port terminal at 11 a.m. had our lunch at almost 12 a.m., we headed straight to get the car that we rented for two days in our stay in Tsushima. It is just beside the ramen house that we had our lunch. After getting the car, we started our almost two-hour long drive from Hitakach to Izahara City, where our hotel is located. Have a full day, take a morning bus ride across the island and you'll find yourself staring at the window at the beautiful coastal roads, lush forests, and farming villages along the way. It will give you a great opportunity to explore the opposite end of the island. Usually there is also an international port terminal in Izohara city, but this time all the ferry schedules are suspended and cancelled due to the few tourists visiting the island. So everyone who wishes to go to Izohara city should have to go to Hitakats and travel from there. Since the schedule for checking in in our hotel is 4 p.m., we also drop by a mart to rest a bit and buy drinks before heading back to our long drive. I so love the idea of the children's artwork is posted everywhere at the entrance of the mart. in our hotel at almost 4 p.m. After we checked in, we decided to go to the place where you can see the Tsushima Yamaneko or the Tsushima Leopard Wildcat. The Tsushima Leopard Cat is a critically endangered species living in Tsushima Island in Japan. The cause of its extinction is roadkill or hunting. As an endangered species, it has been the focus of a conservation program funded by the Japanese government since 1995. My husband told me about it that he saw it the last time they went here, so I am very excited to see the Yamaneko for the first time before going to have dinner. say the Yamaneko don't want to reveal itself to me. My husband said we will go back tomorrow early morning. So we decided to head back to Izohara downtown to have our sushi for dinner. You won't find any fast food or chain restaurants in Tsushima Island. But why would you want to eat there anyway? The restaurants scattered throughout Tsushima serve traditional Japanese dishes, many of which have their own local twist. Seafood lovers will rejoice with the sushi, but there's something on the menu to please everyone. I've been here three times and still this is the best sushi house I've tried for my taste so far. 
After we had our sushi, we transferred to Yakitori House. It's really, really good. The authentic yakitori is one of my favorite food in Japan, but Fukuoka serves the best yakitori. After we had dinner, we went back to hotel to get some rest for another day adventure tomorrow. For today, we went back to where the Yamaneko is hiding. I am really excited to meet the wildcat for the first time. Sad to say, it is still not showing up. I was slightly heartbroken. So my husband take me to another trip going to Manzeki Bridge. The Manzeki Bridge is a bridge over a canal called the Manzeki Seto. The Japanese Navy opened the Kusubu Channel in 1901 to dispatch a torpedo boat to the Tsushima Strait East Channel. This Manseki Bridge spans the excavated seto and connects the Tsushima Islands, a bridge over the Manseki Seto, the boundary that divides Tsushima Island into upper and lower parts. Having a tour in the bridge, we went to the beach that my husband planned to go fishing next time. He said it's the best spot for sports fishing. Many tourists, especially Koreans, travel to Tsushima for fishing. to Izohara Lighthouse, the Chusaki Light. Lighthouses in Japan are operated and maintained by the Japanese Coast Guard's Maritime Safety Agency. There is at least one Coast Guard section office in each prefecture, often two or more. Tsushima has its own Coast Guard office located at Izohara. established 1909. This is active 106 meters or 348 feet, white flash every 10 seconds, and also a continuous white spotlight illuminates the Kaneshiro Iwa Lighthouse. This is located at the southwestern tip of Tsushima, accessible by road and a short hike. There is also parking provided. Site is open but tower is closed. Also, the Watazumi Shrine. This shrine is located in Nii Toyotama Cho, Tsushima City. It is dedicated to Hikohodemi no Mikoto and the ocean goddess Toyotama Himi no Mikoto. In front of the main shrine, there are five Tori gates, including in the sea, making it a mysterious shrine with Dragon King's Palace legends from long ago. We headed back to hotel to get some rest before we had our dinner. My husband was so tired driving the whole day exploring Tsushima. We had our dinner again in Yakitori House. Today is our last day in Tsushima. We checked out in our hotel at 8 a.m. We are now heading back to Hitokatsu. Since this is our last day here, 
we have to spend most of the time left. First stop is Miyuda Beach. Selected among the top 100 most beautiful beaches in Japan, the tranquil waters of Miyuda Beach will remind you of the beaches of Okinawa or Hawaii. Located in the far north of the island of Tsushima, Miyuda Beach is easily accessible by car from the Hitakach International and Domestic Ferry Terminal. In the summer months, Miyuda is popular with tourists and locals alike. back to Hitakach to return the car and to have also our lunch. But unluckily, our favorite ramen and tonkatsu house in Hitakach is closed. Even the mart is also closed during New Year. So we ended up buying packed lunch in a convenience store. While waiting for the time, I decided to go for a little hike. We already saw this Jinja or shrine from the day we arrived here. Now is the time to climb up here while my husband is sleeping in the car and while waiting for the ferry to arrive. regret to explore this Jinja or shrine here. The view from the top is astonishing. afternoon and the ferry will depart at 3 o'clock. While waiting for the time, I just sit back here and watch the beach. Every time I stand before a beautiful beach, its waves seem to whisper to me, if you choose the simple things and find joy in nature's simple treasures, life and living need not to be so hard. Thank you so much for watching. See you again next time.